In this video, we are going to cover the enzymes that are involved in the Krebs cycle. As we mentioned once before in another video, the enzyme that assists the transformation of pyruvate into acetyl-CoA is pyruvate dehydrogenase. You will notice that a lot of these reactions require a dehydrogenase enzyme. And in this context, dehydrogenase means the dehydration of the named molecule. For example, pyruvate dehydrogenase is the enzyme that changes pyruvate by removing one or more hydrogens. This will be a relatively short video compared to our others, so let's get started. So with the example of pyruvate being changed into acetyl-CoA, NAD is converted into NADH and H+. Likewise, the dehydrogenase enzymes within the Krebs cycle also involve the specific reactions that create NADH and H+, as well as the reaction that creates FADH2. This is why it is named dehydrogenase, because it dehydrates the molecule to add the hydrogens taken from it to the NAD and FAD molecules. So we will mention all of those enzymes first, skipping all of the others for now. These four enzymes are isocitrate dehydrogenase, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, succinate dehydrogenase, and malate dehydrogenase. The rest of the enzymes we will mention in order, starting with the enzyme that creates citrate, which is citrate synthase. Simple enough, right? The enzyme that transforms citrate into isocitrate is acondentase. And the enzyme that transforms succinyl-CoA into succinate is succinate thiokinase. You will not need to know the enzyme that is used to transform fumarate to malate. What you will need to know for this video is where on this diagram every enzyme mentioned belongs and the general definition of dehydrogenase. 